This video is sponsored by PageProof. Hi, I'm Myra Ferguson for Creative Pro. And in this video, I'd like to show you how to simultaneously change the text color inside multiple table cells in InDesign. Here's an example of an InDesign document with a page that contains a table. I'll set the view to show frame edges so that you can see that all the text is contained in cells as opposed to separate text frames. I'll go to View, Extras, Show Frame Edges. I like the different colors for the text for the name of each plan in the left column, but I don't think the colors work as well for the rest of the text. I'd like to change these three columns in all three rows to the darker gray that's in the middle. I'll use the Type tool to select these cells. Go to the Swatches panel, select the darker gray and deselect. And that's not what we wanted. Has this happened to you? I wanted to change the text color, not the cell color. I even used the type tool. Well, what's happening here isn't a bug. InDesign is in fact doing what I told it to do. To see what's going on, let's look at the top of the swatches panel. To the right of the fill and stroke icons, there are a couple of other icons one that looks like a rectangle, and one with a T. When I hover over the selected one, I can see that the tooltip says Formatting Effects Container. And if I hover over the one next to that, its tooltip says Formatting Effects Text. So the color I selected affected the container, in this case, the table cells. What about this middle row? It's not the same color. Well, it is actually. InDesign just preserved the tint that had already been applied to the previous fill. Let's undo and try it again. Go to the Swatches panel, select Formatting Effects Text, and now select the color I want. When I deselect, I now have the color I want applied to the text in the cells that I selected. Now that you know the secret, I would add that what the formatting affects is contextual based on what's selected. So if I select cells again, Notice that the formatting effects indicator switches back to the container. And if I just select text, then it switches back to the text. And if you select cells and want the formatting to apply to text, you can quickly toggle between the options using the keyboard shortcut J. You'll still need to make sure that you're selecting the cells. Otherwise, selecting the table itself to change a color would apply to either the border or the fill of the table as an object. Let me show you what I mean. Let's click to select the table. I can see that I still have the formatting effects text icon available in the swatches panel, but let's try clicking it and then selecting a color. Nothing happens, but once the cells are selected, I click it and then select a color, it does. I'm Myra Ferguson, and I hope this tip helps you apply color to text in multiple table cells at the same time. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to our channel. And for thousands more how-to articles and tutorials, visit our website, creativepro.com, and become a member today. Thanks for learning with us.